We have here Garmin 520 to check the uh, version of firmware. We have an iPhone 6 to upload firmware. And we have a brand new crank. It's only two weeks old. From uh, maybe four weeks old. From Xcadi. Uh, glue it on to Shimano 8000. R8000. And of course we have a hot coffee here. So this is the morning here in Russia. First of all, uh, if you already have a X Power XCADI crank and you would like to upload the latest firmware, you have to download the software from the App Store. So seven hours ago, as I told before, the company XCADI released a new version without, almost without bugs to the iPhone App Store. It currently available only on iPhone and the uh, Google Play version for Android phones will be released within two weeks. So we go to App Store. And uh, look for XKD program. You see there's some Chinese spy pictograms and a bug. So this is the latest version without bug. We open XKD program. You see? Next step, we have to pair the XCADI program and the power meter. So we go, we click here. You see? And uh, now the, we have to switch power meter to the Bluetooth mode. So to switch power meter to Bluetooth mode, we take off the battery. It's already taken off, so just lift it up. So we turn power meter, but do not close the battery cover. We hold it by hand. Count until two, one, two, and uh, put it inside again. Uh, if it's on the uh, AND plus mode, the blue light is blinking. If it's on a Bluetooth mode, the blue light is uh, stays on. So let's try. Usually you have to count until two. We put a battery cover here, let me see, like this. Uh, you see that it's a uh, ANT plus mode enabled and the power meter is found on my Garmin. Now we take it off. One, two, Finally, I'm in Bluetooth mode, so for now we have to pair the sensor. We click here for power meter, click sensor, X power, then we connect it to X power. You see? Now we click to X power, and there's a button. Uh, firmware upgrade. You just click the button firmware upgrade, wait for until it uh, fully downloaded and upload it to the crank and you see the message the firmware update successful. After that you wait a little bit and uh, it will be okay. So as we upload the latest firmware now the crank is uh, and ANT plus mode, we check the firmware on Garmin. Sensors, go to our sensor, it's uh, 538 and plus ID. We look for the sensor details about, and you see. So the battery status is good. Software version is uh, 1.50, number manufacturer, uh, number of model. So before it was uh, other version. With this, with this version they fixed the problem with the low battery warning. Actually the battery is a basic CR2032. 
it usually uh, the factory says it work for 200 hours usually it work about 100 150 hours so uh, the latest test we have uh, this is a mountain bike crank uh, glue it on XTR crank Shimano XTR and uh, the rider is uh, he's riding outside now in Russia in minus 3 minus 4 and usually uh, temperature around 0 and it with the battery new battery worked for probably 2 weeks in the cold conditions Comparing to my company Yola power meters, power to max, with a 400 hours battery in the minus condition, it worked for about four weeks. So the battery time is okay. The precision of power meter is uh, perfect uh, for me. I also own a, a stages, blue one from one professional guy. So let's check the final round. Uh, so we go to the App Store, look for Xcadi program, it's uh, the latest version is released uh, 7 hours ago. Open Xcadi program, switch the crank power meter to the Bluetooth mode, it's already in Bluetooth mode. When the crank is in Bluetooth mode, there's a blue light stays on. Go to X power, it, you see it's now connected. And just click the firmware upgrade. So that's all. Wait for the firmware download, then the upgrade, and it takes about maybe two minutes. After the successful upgrade, you will see the upgrade successful. Wait a little bit, and your power meter switch to A and T plus mode, and it will blink again. You see, it's now blinking. So it's uh, in A and T plus mode again, and it's compare it with the Garmin we go to the sensors go to sensor go to sensor details that's it the problems with the battery fixed so thank you very much for looking check the description for place where you can buy good luck bye bye